now I'm pretty caught up with all the quests. <gasps> the only ones I... I'm gonna wait till later to do are the... I think I just have... which ones? Oh yeah, the one with the spirit plane or whatever it is, and then they have... Well, the one with the bugs. Uh, but... I still haven't gotten the other one that I was supposed to get. And then this one I just tried to do, but... The boss monster for that one is... Um, a lot higher level than I am. Uh, so right now... Alright, so I gotta hit to Wharf. Where are you at? Looks like we made it here in one piece. Um, actually, uh, probably change up Burn Wells setup. Oh, well, no, wait. I think I just. No, I did already. Never mind. Yeah, this was my setup that I wanted to keep for her. <clears throat> I don't think she gets any more attacks up in the air. I think this is... I think that's it. For her. For the most part. As far as I know. I don't know if she gets anything else. Well, if it ain't the Blazing Sword and his merry crew. Mahavar? I can't believe you're still alive. Of course I am! If you landlubbers can make it out of that sinking ship alive, ain't no reason an old sea dog like me wouldn't, too. Yeah, but that wave hit hard. I'm glad to see you're okay. Sorry we put you in so much danger back there. I'll water under the bridge at this point. You helped make one of my life's dreams come true. The ship, on the other hand, she took a bit of a beating, though, I'll admit. Really? What happened to it? It looks fine to me on the <coughs> inside. She's fine now, but she was in rough shape when I made it back here. Engine chamber gave up the ghost. Without a lot of options, I decided to talk to the head honcho of the Dark Wings and see if he could help at all. And wouldn't you know it, crazy fool sent over Renan engineers to help. Can you believe it? Renan? Yep. Said they came from Menencia. They were real professionals. Did what they needed to and didn't give me guff or anything. I was damn near floored. So they did the work themselves. Good on them. Well, they did a bang-up job, because she's better than ever now. Speaking of which, I take it she's why you're here? Yes. We need to get out on the ocean, and fast. When can we set sail? Give the man a minute to think it over, Alvin. He hasn't even said yes yet. It's all right, little lady. I'm a man of the sea. I'll gladly help. Hop aboard, folks. This thing already looked plenty huge from afar. Seeing it up close makes it really hit home. I didn't expect the journey to go so smoothly. I figured the Renans would send something to sink us. Maybe they didn't think we had the nerve to come. Somehow I kind of doubt that. It's entirely possible they don't see us as a threat. What do you mean? 
that they think they're beyond our reach. Still, this structure is quite the unusual sight. Truth be told, never seen anything like it. You're right. It doesn't look like the buildings on Lenegas at all. Or like any Renan structure, for that matter. It's weird. It doesn't feel like the kind of thing that has people inside, either. Yeah, it's definitely something creepy. What the hell is it even made of? I don't know. It's not mechanical or biological, but it's definitely alive in some way. <sighs> Shion? I'm okay. It's nothing. <clears throat> well, what do we do now? We have to stop this thing from siphoning off all of Dana's astral energy. That means finding the core and smashing it to bits. Okay, but look at the size of it. I don't know if we'll find the core just wandering around. Good point. Can anyone get a read on the astral energy around us? Any kind of a sign? There's a rather enormous flow of energy moving directly upwards. If we wish to follow it, we'll have to do some climbing. Rinwell? Over there? Hey, what's up with you? Huh? I... You okay? What happened? I'm not sure. When I was reaching out to the astral energy, I thought I heard... a voice. A voice? Yeah. I couldn't make out any words, but it sounded like it wanted me to come to it. This seems like a trap, right? It's not a trap! How can you tell? Listen, I don't know why, but when it spoke to me, I knew it wasn't hostile. What do you think? It could well be a trap. However... It's also our only real option, short of wandering aimlessly about. Let's trust Rinwell on this. You sure? Yeah. Eh, it beats the alternative, I guess. <laughs> what did I say? Sheesh, it's like walking on eggshells around here. Sometimes you have to choose your words more carefully, Law. Huh? Oh, uh, right. Stay sharp. We're going in.